In today's video, we'll be learning how to tie the Sawtooth Mad Max Paracord Bracelet. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So, doing the Mad Max Sawtooth today, and uh, before you say anything, it's not a snake knot, it's a little bit different. Um, see, it's a lot uh, flatter than a snake knot. Also, I've done a tutorial on this pattern before, and um, I don't know if this is a mistake or not, because going by uh, JD Lenzen's of tying it all together, he called it the snake knot viceroy, um, but I think his is a little different, but that video is, you can't watch it now because it's been blocked on um, copyright. Um, someone did a copyright claim on it against for the music. And um, uh, this pattern, I've seen it also as the sawtooth. So I'm not sure which one's which. Um, it doesn't really matter in the end. It's just a name. It's the sawtooth pattern. Uh, looks similar to the snake knot, but a little bit different. And of course, we're doing this Mad Max style. And this one came out quite well, actually. Not as uh, janky or messy as I thought the closure would be, because this one was a little bit different. But uh, you do get the two colors, and you do get a third color for the core, if you wish. And I think this one turned out quite nice. All right, so a uh, big thank you to all my Patreon patrons as usual. Guys, you're doing great things for this channel by supporting me there. Remember, you can get access to uh, exclusive tutorials and the monthly giveaway um, for if you support me on Patreon. So you can check out those links down below. And also, guys, um, feel free to check out my Amazon Influencer store on all the paracord and tools I use in this video. Links in the description, of course. All right, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start this bracelet off, the setup is uh, we're going to start off by taking our color two colors we've got them joined together we're going to make a loop like so so you want that melted end that part joined right there crossed over next you're going to take your gray so this is my main colors the gray is my core strand we're going to double it over that's the midpoint of the gray put it through this loop and come towards you like this and then hold, bring these cords down the middle, like so. So that's where you want to be, like this, okay? This is the loop coming through the middle and out. Now, with these two strands on either side, take the one on the right, put it through the middle, like so. And then one on the left, bring it through the front and out. Like so, okay, this is the sling stone hitch knot, and then we're just going to firm it up all the way up top, like so. Okay, so that's what that should look like there. And now we're gonna actually close this loop up. Okay, so pull on the blue there and keep that melted in underneath. So I'm gonna pull this shut and you want to keep that as tight as possible because that's where the Mad Max closure is going to form. Okay. So I've got that set up like that. So now we're going to switch to a jig. Um, I would suggest you use a jig for this one. It's just a lot easier. So um, let's go do that right now. Now I'm set up on my jig. I'm just using my uh, Mr. Coop's jig today because I've got the nails on here. And that's just how it's set up. This is, I didn't tie any diamond knot down here yet. Just a simple overhand knot. Just to hold everything in place. Okay, so I don't think this nail should be a problem because we can just keep pushing it up and eventually remove the nail. So this is how we're going to tie the sawtooth weave. You're going to bring both strands behind the core and out through the middle. Like so. And then now you're going to make sure make sure you're going to do a twist, but you have to always do it the same direction. So I'm going to go over once like that and then over again. So it's kind of like two twists. Okay, then pull it up and hold it there. Now to repeat, to do the next knot, you can do the same thing. Bring both cords up through the middle like so. Okay, cross them over once, and then cross them over again. Okay, so that's one. See now, we're just gonna continually push it up, like so. So I hope that nail there, I can remove it later, it's not gonna be a problem. So that's two, okay? So that's uh, the pattern, essentially very simple. Bring both cords up through the middle, let's do it one more time. 
and then cross it over once and then cross it over again. So bring it towards you and then two clockwise twists. Okay, and then push it up. So the more knots you do, the easier it should get. Um, and try to push these knots up as much as possible. You don't want too much gap in between, okay? So that's the pattern. We're just gonna continue doing that all the way down or bracelet through the front. Okay, so we're coming down to the end here and I have enough bracelet that it's uh, large enough for my wrist. Now to finish it off, I found the easiest way is, um, okay, so we're doing our last knot here. So we've come out through the middle. We brought it around like that and we'll go one more time like so. So from here, we're just going to take the cord on the right. We're going to put it over the core and we're just going to tie almost like a um, Solomon knot left over that one. And the red comes out this opening here and then just pull that shut. So not the prettiest, but it's what I could kind of come up with. And I think it's the easiest way to finish it off. So that is locked off there. Now we're going to take this off the jig and we're going to do the uh, closure. So I went ahead and I snipped and singed off my excess paracord just to get out of the way. Now I've got my gray cords here. I'm going to take my FID. You guys can guess what I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm going to take that FID, put it through that loop we did up top there. So it goes through here and out. And then let's do the other one. Close that up. Okay, pull this through like so. And there is our Mad Max closure. Looks good. And finally, let's tie our diamond knot. So I will go through this once, but if this isn't clear, just check out my dedicated tu tutorial for that. So let's do our loop like so. Put that on top of the other strand. Bring the opposite strand behind that one on the right and go over, under, over, like so. We have our Keurig spin now set up. And then now from here, take this bottom strand, go past, past this strand here. Oops. Go past this strand here, bring it up through the middle. And then this strand goes past this strand here, up through the middle. So I apologize if that's not clear, but I have a dedica dedicated tutorial for that, of course. So if you're still unfamiliar with the uh, diamond knot, definitely check that tutorial out. Okay, so I'm just going to cinch up my diamond knot here and probably give myself a little more clearance. I'm just going to move my diamond knot to about here. Okay, and then we'll be done. Okay, there we have it, I'm done. Adjusted that diamond knot to where it needs to be, snipped and singed off the excess. And this one turned out really nice actually. A little bit different as I mentioned from the snake knot. Um, it's a bit more flat, so um, very comfortable to wear. And I really like this one, Mad Max style, can't go wrong. Okay, so that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you're not subscribed already, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you know of, uh, when I release videos. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I will see you in the next video.